hi welcome to my channel if you're new here welcome and if you're not welcome back for today's video i'm going to be showing you everything i crocheted for my craft market coming up a lot of you guys have been following me along on my craft market journey whether that's like following it on instagram or watching my crochet with me vlogs throughout the whole craft market preparation series okay i think we have like nine episodes of that but if you're new here or you've been following along, this is going to be a cohesive everything that I crocheted for the market with all the patterns and tutorials linked down in the description in the order of the way I say everything. So from beginning to end, they will be listed in the description box below, linked to paid or free video or written tutorials that I use to make them. Everything's available to you. With that being said, I also am going to be listing what I price, what I'm going to price every item as, okay? So I'll be letting you know how I'm pricing my items at the market because a lot of you guys had questions on like what I'm pricing things on and how I'm planning on doing all that. So I will also have the price and how many I made of the item for each item I show you. And then we can do a little like if I sold every single item I made, this is how much money I would make, okay? So let's go ahead and get right into it. The first item I have is these little octopus plushies, okay? I made these with blanket yarn. This was a free pattern and it was no sew. I actually really liked this pattern and I'm gonna be selling these at $8 a piece. I'm trying really hard not to have any item under $8, but I th I don't know if I did that. I'm, I'm pretty sure I tried to, but... I made 11 total of these in a bunch of different colors, so there's a bunch of options. And if I sold every single one, I'd make $88. The next item I have is the Teddy Bear Balaclava. I only have one of these because I made it for a pattern and I don't need it, so I'm gonna try and sell it at the market. I'm gonna price it at $15. The next item I have are these leaf sprouts, which are also like bookmarks and can wrap your cords and can be on the top of like headphones. I'm pricing them at $8 a piece and I made 13. So if I sell them all, I'll make $104. Then we have this sunflower coaster set. It's four coasters for each set in each pot and each set I'm selling for $20. I made a total of six of these. So if I sold them all, I'd make $120. And on the same topic, I did this Monstera Leaf Coaster set. Again, four coasters per set, $20 a set. I made three of them, so if I sold them all, I'd make $60. And the last kind of coaster set thing I have going on is this Succulent Coaster set. Again, four coasters per set, $20 each. I made five of them, so if I sell them all, that's $100. Then we have the Impkins I made. I made four Impkins total. So I made the Mushroom Impkin, the Witch Impkin, the Pixie Hat Impkin, and the Alien Impkin. And I'm planning on selling each of these for $20. So 20 for each one. If I sold all of them, that would be $80. Then I made these bandanas. I made three total and I'm planning on selling them for $15 a piece. So if I were to sell all of them, that is $45. And then we have my favorite, the little chunky mushroom boys. I made six of these and I'm planning on pricing them at $15 per plush, which means if I were to sell all six of them, I would have $90. Then we have the giant mushroom pillow. I only made one of these because it was for a video, but I'm gonna try and sell it at the market. So I'm gonna be pricing it at $20 since it did take a lot of, it took expensive yarn and it didn't take too much time, but it did take a lot in material, so. Then I made this granny square Kindle cover again for a tutorial, but I'm gonna try and sell it just to see what happens. Um, and I'm gonna price it at $20. So if I sell it, I'll make $20. <laughs> then we have two shoulder checkered bags in different, one in different colors. Okay, one, they're each different colors is what I'm trying to say. I'm planning on selling each, I'm trying, I'm planning on selling them each for $36, $36 each, okay? So if I were to sell both of them, I'd make 72, but, I've been trying to sell these bags for over a year on my Etsy, so I doubt it, but we'll see. They are lined, so that kind of adds to the price a bit. Um, so yeah, 
The next one we have is market bags. I've made three total, two smalls, one large, all with 100% cotton. I'm planning on selling them for $35 each. So if I were to sell all three, it'd be $105. Then we have the jewelry hanger, which is my original design. I'm gonna, I only have made one of these and I'm gonna price it at $30. Then we have a sunny side up pot holder. Again, I only made one and I'm planning on selling it at $15. Then we have this, then we have this mermaid market bag, which is actually one of the first bags I ever made and I'm pricing it at $20. I only have one of these. Then I made about nine of these cotton washcloths with my own little brand wrapping around them. I'm planning on charging $8 per wash, so if I do sell all of the washcloths, I should make about $72. And then I made one string of pearls hanging plant. It has sand in it, so there's a little bit of weight to it. Um, that is $15, the price of that one. And I made the 70s basket for my 70s video and I only made one and I'm planning on pricing it at $15. Then we have these flower coasters, which I was planning on kind of doing like a make your own set thing on my table. So I'm gonna price them $5 each coaster and I'm thinking of even doing like a little deal if someone gets a set or something like that. I haven't decided, but I made five total. Then we have the car plant hangers I made that hang on your little mirror in your car. I made three of these and I'm planning on pricing them at $15 each, which means I'll make $45 if I sell out on this item. I made one snake plant and I'm planning on pricing it at $25. I wanted to make more of these, but if you're watch if you've watched my vlogs, my crochet with me vlogs for this for this market, you'll know that it was not a fun experience, so I only ended up making one. Then I made about 12 of these headbands, um, these flower looking headbands. I wanna say I made seven adult ones and five child size ones, and I'm planning on selling them at $10 per headband. So if I were to sell every single one, I'd make $120. Then I have about five of these leggy frog boys and I'm planning on selling them at $8 a piece. So if I sold them all, I'd make $40. And then I have about six different kinds of keychains, some fidget keychains, a rainbow, butterfly, and I'm planning on selling my keychains for about $8 a keychain, which means if I sold out, it would be $48. Then I only made 12 scrunchies and I'm planning on selling them for $5 a scrunchie, which means I would make $60 if I sold all of my scrunchies. And that is everything that I made for my market. It might not seem like a lot, but I did tally up what I would make if I sold every single item on my table. And that number is $1,414, okay? So if I were to sell everything on my table, that's how much I would make. The fee of the event that I I'm going to, okay? The fee of the market for my table was $40. So that's the market fee. We just at least want to make more than $40, but that is how much I'd make if I sold every single crochet item on my table. So like I said in the beginning, everything I showed you is listed in the description box below in the order that I said it, linked to a paid or free written or video tutorials that you can make any of these items that I showed you. If you're interested in the process of me preparing for my market, I have about eight or nine episodes now up on my channel, so go check those out. Hi, it's Paige from the future. I forgot to say this in my video, but everything that I don't sell at the market, like that I still have, is gonna be up on my Etsy shop. So if you saw anything in this video that you wanted. If it didn't sell at the market, then it's on my Etsy shop and that's also linked down in the description box below. I also wanted to mention, I, I forgot multiple things in this, in this outro, but I also wanted to mention that I'm gonna be doing a similar video to this one, but for everything I made that was not crocheted. So you guys been you guys have been watching me sew stuff on my channel and all of the vlogs and stuff of me sewing things. So there is going to be another video with all the stuff I did on my sewing machine with the tutorials and patterns and stuff like that. So just letting you know that things I missed, I forgot to say. And other than that, you can subscribe to my channel if you want, comment something, comment. Actually, I have an idea. Comment what item you think is going to be the best seller because i am planning on doing a best selling worst selling video after the market so comment and make your predictions on 
which items are going to sell the best and which items are going to not sell, okay? And then we'll, we'll I'll let you know if you're right in about a week or two, okay? So other than that, I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. I love you guys. Bye.